bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Tony Hill. You know, we're seeing an awful lot about the environment and how it's been uh, really in many ways, uh, some places almost destroyed. Uh, but there are still some who don't believe we have a real problem with the environment. So there needs to continue to be a discussion about how we move forward. And there's some thought-provoking films that are being made uh, in that genre, and we can uh, get to go view those. We're going to talk about it with Peter O'Brien, who's Managing Director of the Environmental Film Festival. How are you? Fine, thanks. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Uh, this is interesting that there is a film festival that's strictly going to deal with uh, the environment. What types of things can we ex expect here? Well, we, uh, we show films on uh, a, a wide uh, range of subjects. We really uh, try to have uh, a diverse selection of, of films. We're showing uh, 115 uh, films throughout Washington this year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they cover topics uh, such as the, the environmental uh, impact of war um, all the way to, to more traditional uh, topics like land conservation or global warming. Um, or water issues. Sure. So. And the festival opens on March 11th uh, with right. a film uh, that deals with subject matter you just mentioned. It's called Scarred Lands and Wounded Lives, The Environmental Footprint of War. Uh, mm -hmm. You've got films from all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have um, films from, from over 20 countries uh, in the festival this year. And uh, we show a number of uh, international films at embassies in Washington. Um, and uh, we also have uh, a number of directors coming to speak uh, with those films. So it's really a, a wide selection of, of countries and, and subject matters. Sure. We want to take a look at the Comcast calendar so people can get all the information on the films. And the best thing is to go to the website so that they can see when a particular film is playing. But what's, I think, really good about this festival, and, and again, different, is that along with the directors being on hand, there'll be some Q&A. But you're also going to have some environmental experts on hand. Explain their role. Well, uh, we always try to have, um, you know, a, a panel discussion or a Q&A session after as many screenings as we can because we really feel that it, uh, that it makes the experience, uh, you know, a, a better experience for the, the film goer. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, there are a lot of issues that, that come up in these films that people really want to ask questions about or, or discuss. Um, so uh, we have uh, quite a number of directors on hand and also environmental uh, experts to speak about those issues. And then after people get home, I understand the cons this discussion, rather, is going to continue. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for the first time this year, we're going to have a forum on our website. So, um, you know, one thing we've found in the past is that, that people often feel the, the discussions don't last long enough and we'll have people out in the hallway still talking about the issues. So mm -hmm. now they can go home and get on the forum and, and uh, you know, express their opinions online. So we hope people will use that. All right. How do people get tickets and how do sponsors get involved? Well, uh, in terms of tickets, uh, uh, we're, we're a unique uh, festival in the sense that most of our screenings are free. Mm -hmm. um, some do require tickets. It depends on the, the venue. And um, so people, uh, if they have a program, should check each uh, a description of, of uh, each event and we'll describe it. And that can be... Um, read online as well. Okay. Um, and in terms of uh, sponsors, uh, uh, again, the best thing to do is to go onto our website and we, we explain um, how to become a sponsor of the festival. We're always looking for, for new sponsors. So. All right. And then for next year, for the other filmmakers out there who may want to give a stab at, at making an environmental film, right. uh, what do they need to do to uh, potentially be entered in the festival? Well, they, uh, they should really contact us and um, describe to us uh, what their, their film is about. Um, and then we can have a sense of, of whether it's something that, that we might be able to include in the next festival. Mm -hmm. um, and then they can send, send a copy to us. So. All right. Well, this is very interesting and very timely uh, as we all try and decide what needs to be done to make sure that we keep our planet uh, intact for the next generation and generations to come. So very thought-provoking. Hopefully we'll get lots of people to come out and... Uh, walk away with it with a better sense of what we ought to do. Thank you for so. coming in and talking Thanks to us. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. That is Peter O'Brien, who is Managing Director of Environmental Film Festival. And for more on how Comcast is involved in your community, please check out On Demand and click Get Local. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Till next time, I'm Tony Hill.